Okay, so Lutris is broken and you can't use the Osu installer, but uh, I did it manually uh, by just following the script on their website. Uh, right here, basically, just click the install script and you just have to do these tasks manually because for some reason it won't do them on its own. Like, it wouldn't install .NET, uh, it wouldn't install GDI+, Plus, so you have to run uh, Wine Tricks manually through here after and do all those things manually <laughs> i don't know lutris never see i like lutris but it never is reproducible you know like every time i use it something goes wrong and something doesn't work anyway i've got osu installed uh and you'll notice the script down here uh, at the bottom will set pulse latency true which is this setting in here reduce pulse audio latency uh, and it says it sets an environment variable pulse latency msec equals 60. Well, that's really high 60 milliseconds. That's crazy um, And when that setting is turned on uh, I could very much notice the uh, The audio lag between what you see on the screen and what you're hearing So I'll turn it on though. This is the default how the script would do it slow to open but here we go everything seems fine other than the fact that if I start playing a song it's going to be laggy so what do I do well normally I just turn that setting off I just turn it off in here and just use it like normal where is it uh, right here but here's the problem I ran into this time I don't know <laughs> I, I've never seen this before in my life but and this is the same hardware, by the way. Ah! Oh, is fast! Ah! <laughs> okay! Alright, let's turn on... Uh, auto. And let's just play map. Ah, it's just way too fast. Imagine playing this on double time. <laughs> This is hilarious. So anyway, uh, I decided, okay, well, there's no way this is going to be playable with uh, this audio turn, uh, audio setting turned on, pulse latency msec60. But this is just an environment variable, and we should be able to set anything we like. So let's do uh, pulse latency msec. And I thought, okay, let's try a low value like 5. All right, so let's save that. And sometimes I find Lutris doesn't save these settings, so I'll go back and double check. Okay, it did. So let's launch it. Welcome to us. Okay, it slowed down a little. <laughs> but it's still too fast, so. See you next time. Mm, that's weird. So I'll go back in here. The setting I found that worked for me was setting this to uh, 6. That's the lowest I can set it. Which is way better than 60. Let's just make sure that's saved. Yeah, okay. And then everything should work. At least it did the last time I tried it. But <laughs> sometimes you never know with wine. Welcome to Aha, this. there we go. It's working. Okay. Everything's good. And I played that, time. and it seems good. I have some other things I gotta deal with, like, uh... I was getting a little bit of lag. I don't know what's going on. If I get something in the background going, maybe Chrome. I have hardware acceleration enabled in Chrome, so I don't know. But anyway, that's just a weird bug I encountered that I've never seen before. Wine and Lutris are weird. <laughs>